Okay, here we are again. This is the um, H555. I believe it's a... Well, I'm still not entirely sure if it's a TYT900 clone, but it uh, looks just like it. I'm on a couple of the names. And I have been able to uh, program the radio. I don't know how well you can see that, but I have a FRS. Actually, that's GMRS55575665. 656757 and 725 in there and that's uh, how most uh, dual service FRS GMRS radios are set up uh, FRS the four, first 14 channels and then 15 through 22 is the GMRS uh, repeater output simplex channels alright there's FRS 1 2 3 4 and uh, See, it goes from 4627125 to 4675625, and there's all the way through 14. Now, for scan, you press function and then 6, and it'll start scanning. And there's uh, that strange uh, carrier that uh, is coming in on channel 3, 4626125. I think it might be some intermod. Uh, there's a lot of UHF FM activity in this city. Have the uh, Diamond RH701 uh, antenna on there. Uh, aftermarket, aftermarket antenna. And uh, to stop scan, you just uh, press the push to talk button. Put it back on uh, 7 there. 4627125. Now you can also do. Um, scanning in uh, VFO mode which I'm uh, still playing around with so you go ahead and enter the frequency 450.000 press function scan again and now it's scanning down so we'll start scanning up Oops. function scan now it's going up as you can see it's not the fastest scanning radio but there's a studio transmitter link there on 4504125, only about uh, three four miles away. Okay, here. Let's see what else we can find. Oops. Function scan. Oops. Oh, how strange. Function scan. I wish this uh, camera had focus on it. Of course it does not. Okay, let's see if it keeps scanning there. Now the uh, squelch is settable via the menu. I still have not gotten the uh, the programming software to work. Something there. 452-4625. Now I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but the last... Uh, Four digits of the frequency either show up as uh, two five five zero or seven five. So. Okay. There's that telemetry, which is common for the four fifty three and uh, four sixty megahertz bands. Again, 460, I'm sorry, 453, 75, and 825. Keep scanning up. There's a uh, paging, 454 megahertz. Now, usually there's some. Uh, some FRS activity, but um, it is still pretty early in the morning, so there isn't very much out there right now. But uh, let's see here, we're going to stop. Huh. Alright, let's do uh, 46D.900. Function scan. Let's see if we can get anything in the business uh, area 461 to 465. 
So it's not a very fast scanner at all, but uh, does have an interesting does have a scan function, and when you set the squelch down uh, relatively low, it actually has some pretty good sensitivity. Um, let's see, there was a signal there. 462.075. We'll keep going up. So, yeah, still on the business radio service. Cool. Now we're in uh, FRS and GMRS. There's that uh, FRS 3 signal, 462.6125. Okay, we're back out of FRS spec. Uh, let's see here, this is the uh, ambulance hospital, ambulance to hospital band, and then uh, back into business radio, which there isn't very much right now because it's still pretty early in the morning. But let's just uh, let's just see where we go here up to 465. There's some activity, 464.825. Right. It sounds like it's a repeater. And as well, there's uh, quite a few strong ones in the area on the business band. And uh, let's see here, function, we're going to go back to... Uh, memory mode, so it's got switch uh, memory VFO there and then you can uh, scan through the memories as well. This radio can hold uh, 199 channels and uh, since I haven't gotten the programming to work I've had to do everything manually so it takes a long time but uh, FRS uh, and GMRS is good frequencies to have in the scan there because uh, usually they're pretty active and at least one FRS channel is uh, used by businesses around here, uh, channel 13 is uh, seems to be used by construction crew uh, somewhere near and uh, of course there's a uh, sometimes some kids playing on channel one and uh, whatnot but there you have it the uh, H555 Chinese radio scan function and uh, pretty solid built radio I've been using it uh, for a little bit now and I uh, actually really like it and uh, works really well with um, these uh, BHD B828s, which I now have the high gain antenna and a speaker microphone for. The nice thing about these Chinese radios is they all have the same speaker microphone connection, which is the standard, standard Kenwood connection. So there's the, uh, the Quan Shang. And uh, they all work with the same speaker mics, which is really cool. And uh, have the high gain antennas on all of them now and uh, gotten some pretty good uh, unit to unit range out of these radios still need to do some more range testing but uh, definitely uh, worth the buy uh, for how cheap they are especially these uh, little 16 channel guys um, they're only supposed to be 3 to 4 watts uh, according to the box and this is supposed to be 7 watts but I have not had a chance to measure them or measure the uh, actual power output on these radios yet to see how uh, close to the truth those numbers really are. Alright, well until next time, see y'all later.